Why can't Chinese manufacturers make truly great engines? Because the machines and patents for building them are still controlled by Japan, Europe, and the United States. Here is how a Volkswagen EA211 crankshaft is made. First, the end face is cleaned and a center hole is drilled, done on a machining center from Aceta in Spain. Next, the main journals, crankshaft snout and flange are turned. The lathe is from Niles Simmons in Germany, and the cutter head comes from Kenna Metal in the United States. Each tooth holds a different insert, allowing a tool change in just 0.2 seconds. Different inserts handle different crankshaft areas. Then the connecting rod grooves and main journal seats are milled, again with Niles Simmons equipment from Germany. Here, accuracy is critical. If the grooves are off by too much, they will wear faster during operation, shortening engine life. Without advanced equipment, you simply cannot make a durable engine. Next, deep holes are drilled in the crankshaft for oil passages. Using a high-precision deep hole drilling machine from Azeda in Spain, these channels deliver oil to the journal surfaces for lubrication. After that comes heating and quenching, done with a high-frequency induction hardening system from Elitherm in Germany. Induction quickly heats the surface, then rapid cooling hardens it, boosting both strength and durability. Then more holes are drilled to reduce crankshaft weight. Again, with Azeda equipment from Spain, hollow journals cut down centrifugal force when the engine spins. Now the main and rod journals are precision ground on a twin wheel grinder from Landis in the United Kingdom. CBN grinding wheels cut with high accuracy while a Marpop measuring head from Italy checks dimensions in real time. Next is dynamic balancing, handled by a shank machine from Germany. Holes are drilled in precise spots to offset the centrifugal force from the rods and crank throws, keeping the engine smooth and easing the load on the main journals. Finally, the crank shaft is polished on a fully automatic system from Nagel in Germany. This step cuts internal friction, improving fuel economy by 7 to 10 percent. So, in machining technology, how far behind Europe and the US do you think China still is?